This woman gave birth to a weird baby. Three doctors took one look at him rolled their eyes and then they all died because he was so handsome. From then on, dressing him up as a mummy with gauze and glasses and a cap was the most important thing. Max never dared to show his handsome face again. In order to prevent more people from being killed by his handsome face his parents moved with him to a sparsely populated town. The monotony of his life made him depressed. His parents took him to a psychiatrist. He told the doctor that all his troubles were due to his good looks. Anyone who saw his face would die from it. Max didn't want to hurt innocent people anymore. But the doctor said he'd never seen anyone with such brazenness. He didn't believe in such absurdity. So he asked Max to remove the gauze from his face and look at him. Then there was a loud noise in the room. The parents heard the noise and rushed in to find the psychiatrist on the floor. It turns out that he was really dead by Max's handsomeness. Max goes to great lengths to meet a girl for dinner but her ex-boyfriend interferes. Colleen saw Max's outfit and thought that Max was too ugly to be seen. That's why he wrapped his face tightly with gauze. Max didn't explain but Colin didn't let up and pressed him on the table. Luckily, the staff was able to stop the drama in time. The girl was disappointed to see that Max was so weak and left. It seems that being handsome doesn't protect a person from being hurt. This handsome face made Max desperate again. He wanted to jump into the river to end it all, but then a girl approached him. Max thought she was here to stop him from jumping but January asked him to find a higher bridge because he wouldn't die if he jumped from such a height. When Max heard that, he got scared. He thought this girl was a bit interesting. January told him to come to the road first. Then she took Max to a nursing home the old people were very kind. They didn't care why Max was dressed so strangely and just laughed and talked to him. Max felt a warmth he hadn't felt in a long time and fell in love with this optimistic girl. He began to create opportunities to meet her. They waited for the bus together shopping at the mall together watching movies together. Just as their relationship grew closer Max got some bad news. This man was too handsome to wear gauze around his face every day. Because it made the doctors and nurses die and because it was so handsome on the day he was born even cats would fall over if they took one look at him. Terminally ill patients seek his help in euthanasia because anyone who saw his handsome face would die. That's why Max has been single for 20 years and still can't find a girlfriend. That day, Max finally found a girl he liked but he found out that she has a heart detector on her body and January had to carry her harp heels with her. At this moment both of them felt the same way. Maybe it's because both of their lives were so unfortunate that they were willing to protect each other. One day January wanted to take off his glasses to see what he looked like. Max immediately reached out to stop her but January insisted on looking into her lover's eyes. As the sunglasses were slowly removed January stared into those mesmerizing eyes in a daze. When Max's parents suddenly came home that beautiful atmosphere was broken. Max's parents were thrilled to see January and were surprised that their son could find a girlfriend even with his face wrapped up in such a strange way. So the two of them went on a trip arranged by Max's parents. January accidentally cut her hand on a tree branch. Max immediately cuts off a piece of gauze from his face and carefully bandages January's wound. This thoughtful gesture made January so happy. Her heart was beating faster than a normal person's. At night, January asked to touch his face. So Max blindfolded her and took her hand and put it on his face. It was the only way he could make his lover feel his body. That's why January's heart was beating so fast. That day, an old woman in a nursing home was critically ill. January looked at the old woman lying on the bed in agony and was a little saddened. She knew what it was like to be tortured by and through. Then out of the blue she offered to let Max help the old woman out. But Max wouldn't do it because too many people have seen his face and been killed by him and he doesn't want to hurt any more innocent people. Disappointed, January pulls her hand out of his and turns to leave. Max hesitated for a moment and went to the old woman's bed. He held her hand and whispered to wake her up. Then he removed the gauze from his face and looked at her. If being handsome is a crime then he's good enough for life in prison. Max slowly removes the gauze wrapped around his face. When the old woman lying on the hospital bed saw Max's handsome face her eyes started to turn white and then she was dying of his handsome. She left this world peacefully and without a trace of pain it wasn't long before January's heart condition began to deteriorate. She wanted to dance once before she left this world. So Max put on a mask and took her to a masquerade ball. The two of them hugged each other tightly at the ball. January smiled happily. Happiness was so simple but then January's nose suddenly bled. She found an excuse to leave Max waited for half a day and didn't see her come back. Just when he was about to go out to look for January a man blocked his way. He uttered that Max could kill people with his handsome face but he thought Max was trying to bluff so he forced Max's mask off. When the woman saw Max's face her eyes started to turn white. Then she slowly fell to the ground. This time, another person was killed by Max's handsome face. So Max was taken to the police station but the police couldn't convict Max for killing with his handsome face. So Max was released from the police station soon after. At the same time January's condition deteriorated and she was hospitalized. Max rushed to the hospital when he got the news. 
He went through January's backpack and found that the medication was just to ease her pain. There was no way she could be cured by the medication. She didn't have much time left to live. Before she died she asked Max for one last thing January wanted to see Max's face for the last time in her life. Max stood up in uncontrolled rage. He couldn't bear the thought of killing the girl he loved with his face. He didn't want to feel that pain so Max went home picked up a brick and smashed it into his face. He thought that if he was disfigured he wouldn't be able to kill his girlfriend. Luckily, his parents arrived in time to stop him. Max couldn't help but cry out of sadness. Then Max stayed at home for a long time without going out, until one day the hospital got the sad news about January. She's on a ventilator and only has one breath left. Max saw his girlfriend in pain and decided to fulfill her last wish. He sat her down on the edge of the bed slowly took off his sunglasses and removed the gauze and then lay down beside her. January closed her eyes and gave Max a goodbye kiss. Then she slowly opened her eyes and looked at her boyfriend's face. Max couldn't hold back the tears. He could only watch his girlfriend die by his handsome face. And Max didn't forget this kind of girl who had passed away. From time to time he would go to the place where he and January first met and look for January. And in the real world I'm also troubled by this matter from time to time. Is it wrong for us to be handsome? Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.